Hello everyone, I'm Communist Leader Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Hearts of Iron 4 Vanilla. So, last time, what did we do? We went to Ethiopia, and helped out a little bit before they were taken over. Right now we're helping out in Spain and helped crush a small encircled group of national soldiers, but right now, we are justifying on the Finns for a few reasons. First of all, we can get rid of them, we don't have to wait until the Winter War. We have about 100 days until then, but there's something I didn't tell you tell you guys about intelligence and potential collaboration government. So, having a friendly government in charge of Finland would allow us to concentrate on other enemies and free up troops to pursue other objectives. I wanted to try collaboration governments so that when we take them over, they'll have quite a bit more compliance when they're done. So, we need support equipment, infantry equipment, and collect 10 units of civilian factories. Let's go and grab two of our people here, Elena, for now, and then Infiltrator is usually pretty good to do, so, thank you. Commencement ready, and we will go to war once the collaboration government is fully done, and make sure we have garrisons all the way up. And, I'll be honest with you guys, with this campaign, I'm going to focus a lot on fighters, and a few on tanks. Lots and lots of fighters, though, lots and lots of fighters, but we have to wait for that to prepare, and let's just go ahead and turn into my generals. Did I put generals on our, on our guys? Maybe not. Perhaps I did not. Perhaps I forgot. I don't know. Let's see. Put you right there. Put you right there. And put you guys. Good enough. I like guys who can get promoted quickly. And who should be promoted? Infantry is pretty good. Cavalry. I'm not really using cavalry. Promotion costs. Attack. Markian. Yeah, I could use those guys, but they're politically connected. They're old guards. They're... They're annoying. Uh, definitely aggressive assault would be pretty good. Defensive doctor might be good to do as well, but let's go with this. We'll see how the Axis fights me first once they t take Operation Barbarossa. Maybe I'll need defensive doctor. Maybe I will won't. So that'd be kind of good. And Zukov yeah, is the type of guy I needed there. Pretty good. All right, time to come back to this, and we're sending our guys this way. Hopefully we can beat the Nationals before the Anarchists rise up. And you know what? Usually, in the Spanish Civil War, this part falls so quickly. But now it doesn't, after the Husky update. So, I did ask, and someone said, Most of the time, it's better to do positive heroism than collectivist propaganda. So we're going to go down that way. So, Stalin Constitution. It is our time, or it is time, to update our old constitution and impress the world with the rights enjoyed by the workers and peasants of the Soviet Union. And yes, this is a very tiny focus tree. It's pathetically small. Just wait. Someday, Paradox will tell us, just pay 20 more dollars to get an updated tree. I'm sorry, but let's be real here. They're definitely going to say that. Oh, looks like we got some Germans, some Italians, some Portuguese guys helping out the nationalists. And actually, what are our planes doing around here? Oh, look at that lag. Holy cow. Any planes? Enemy planes? They only have one group of enemy planes. I'm going to return you home. Let's go ahead and grab... 100 of you all. Oh, whoops, that's a duplicate. That's the new new thing there. A duplicate button. Which we don't have enough to do there. You guys come down here. Or... Oh, you have to leave first. Oh, talented new officers. With new officers... <clears throat> They're proving up to the task and adapting to the new roles in the military high command. With the loyal officer corps in charge of our military, Joseph Stalin's purge seems to have some of the effect we'd hoped for. The Red Army's regaining its power and will soon be stronger than ever. Well, eventually. And then just do that area. Cool. I guess we're losing. But not for long. We'll attack here soon-ish, maybe? Oh, they can pierce our allies. Can they pierce my tanks? They kind of... No, my tanks aren't even fighting, dude. Does my mount... Do these guys have armor? Oh, they have armor because of the light armored recon company, so that's why, duh. Ah, coming in to save the day at the last moment. Love it. Alright, so what's going on here? We can improve working conditions for more stability. I kind of like that, but... Elusive Gentleman's pretty good. Nikolai will be good in time. I could really use more daily army XP gain with Boris, but you know what, it's better to do this early on than later, so just go and do improve worker conditions. We're communists, right? We want to improve worker conditions. Always. All the time. Wow. We really aren't winning this too quickly. 
Oh, did our tactical bombers make it? Uh, please. There we go. Now we're going to start winning battles quite a bit quicker, hopefully. And helping out our allies, or potential allies. Very good, very good, very good. Let's see what else is going on. So we're doing that. Our, oh, our division organization is so incredibly low. That's why we want to go to war with Finland early to get rid of this. Radio, very good, very good. Uh, what do we want? 1937? Happy 1937. I'm going to go get construction too, because I love building things fast, fast, fast. Joseph Stalin brings revolution to Finland. Pretty normal. Interwar artillery. Let's grab some output. And I haven't even done my land doctrine yet, so. Actually, let's double check this. So, lessons of war. To do this, it removes officers' purge spirit. You know, minus 45% division organization, other debuffs. So. One of the following must be true. It has to be after 1941, January 1st, or had a, had a war since completing the Great Purge. That's why we want to go to war with Finland. Because the Finns shouldn't be too strong. They shouldn't be too strong. But you know what? We'll see what happens. You know what, actually? Give me Poland's army. Even though you don't have full strength yet. What we want to do is just make sure that we can kill these guys relatively okay. Some of their divisions don't even have enough strength, which is good. They're some, somewhat dug in. And you guys will lead the way down here. They should be able to pierce our armor, but you know what? If they can, so be it. Actually, how strong is Finland? We do have a lot of intel on them. Or at least some. 4,000 manpower. Up to 25 divisions. Mostly infantry. So, we'll see what happens. Happy February. Happy February. Cool. Alright, can we just go ahead and start beating them up? We might be able to. Especially since we're still defending over there. Mm hmm doing a little bit of damage and we do want to make a lot of fighters so definitely put a lot of here that's good that's good we can wait a little bit more on anti-air I'll put anti-air on my divisions much later on just because we don't need it right now but we do need a massive stockpile of fighters uh, artillery that can wait as well but we need tons of guns tons of fighters and eventually some hmm you know what what decision should I make should I go with medium tanks or heavy tanks in this campaign I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. I'm open to either one. Very nice. Good job, guys. Ah, and a Stalin constitution. Japan declared war on Japan. Huh. What did that happen? Why did that happen? Positive heroism, here we come. So we get, eventually, another research slot. So, it is time to move on from the old Leninist collectivist propaganda and transform various exceptional individuals into larger-than-life heroes of socialism. Glorious. Let's see... Yep, so that... Cool. So, the thing we want to know about Japan, which is has a really ugly color right now, is that usually they lose their and when they become communist, and he's balding. Holy cow! But uh, so we have to help him, or th he'll definitely lose. How many guys can I send? Two. That's not a lot. But I'll send them some mountaineers because usually those are some pretty good boys to send. And you'll be led by Nikolai. Send some volunteers. Usually, I don't like fighting on two different continents at once. But, you know, whatever. Uh, do they have air... Oh, the request assistance. It's currently embroiled in a destructive civil war. And it's having trouble matching their enemy's military strength. The transitionary government has now approached our representatives with an offer to trade with Southern Sakhalin Peninsula for the military assistance they so sorely need. This may be a way to easily get some land in return for some volunteer divisions. That's a lot of manpower that leaves. That is a lot of manpower. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll come back, maybe they won't. Do they have an airbase? I don't see an airbase here. This is a little troubling. But, hey, you never know. And also, Manchukuo will go... Oh, wait. They already broke free. Well, they're already Qing China. No. Yeah, they already became Qing China. What the heck? Still never played as them, though. Still have never played as them. But we do have a lot of political power right now. Let's go ahead and grab Boris. He's pretty good. Next up, then we'd probably grab... Captain of Industry is not bad. More civilian infrastructure, or civilian factory production. Army drill, army XP gains not terrible. And we're currently just building up a lot of civilian factories. Actually, we should be doing more of this up too. A little bit, at least. Psychological warfare, propaganda, control of diplomatic stuff, training centers is pretty good. Radios. 
Coordinated strikes. Hmm. Machine assisted decryption, that takes quite a bit. Let's just go ahead and do... I'll do radios, why not? You guys, we're going to research next. We got updated fighters, we got updated tactical bombers. I'm going to go ahead and get tools. More cap. And how is Spain? We're still holding here. Not bad. Actually, how is this coming along? In preparation... Oh my goodness, we can't even do it yet because we need more guns. Uh, divert... Please divert guns this way. The garrisons need them. Alright, so it's going to take a little longer for us to do that. Yeah, I want all the guns to go that way. You know what? If I have to, let's go ahead and lower my production of all this stuff. I really don't like doing it like this, but it's a necessary. And we have plenty of light tanks new too right now. Do that for now. Give me as many guns as possible on on there right now. Mm, you probably put you at the bottom for now. That'd be fine. We need a little bit more rubber. Only making about 100 guns a day. Actually, do we have... Oh, tactical bombers, yeah. That'll be pretty darn important to make. Good, good. And we have our Japanese volunteers. So, which way do we want to go first? Tokyo or down here? Looks like we might be able to break through here f more quickly than over here. So... See if you guys can come over here. Maybe we can break through. Maybe we can't. If this side starts failing, then, you know, we'll try to help them out. When it, still question finish sovereignty. We should be able to break through there. Is this hills? Ah, it is hills. And I do have some coffee here. Some good old Soviet coffee. Very nice, very nice. That it should go fine. I do want to penetrate the lines over here, but we'll see what happens. Ah, there go the anarchists. Well, we couldn't kill those guys off yet, so that's okay. Anarchist uprising civil war. The Republicans hardly needed outside assistance to lose. Interesting. So, let's be real here. I'm going to go ahead and cut off these nationalists. Here's the plan. Go here. Cut everyone else down south. Go ahead and immediately attack here, because they shouldn't be able to pierce your armor. God dang it, now we can go to war with these guys. Uh, I wish I had the collaboration government good to go. It takes 90 days to do it. We only have until May 25th, so I'm going to wait for as long as we can. Because I still want to help out the Japanese, I want to help out the, the Spaniards as well. That was pretty bad. I already told my guys, you know, I, I took uh, told everyone, hi for the garrisons, but they didn't listen apparently. Hmm. Oh, that's not good. Three even more divisions here. How about if you can a little bit more? We have until May, so we'll be fine. And I don't want to read Justify on them because it takes too long. Oh, I've got portable radios. That's good. pretty good, though. Let's do passive defense. Some more passive defense. You never know what we might get ourselves into. You guys. You guys actually won. That was pretty good. Oh, the Japanese are here. Or Japanese. Of course, the Japanese are here in Japan. I mean, actually, you know what? What if we went down this way? Thank you. That was weird. Just gotta keep an eye on the target date, May 25th. Can you break down there? And then just encircle these guys? Maybe? Perhaps? Hold on, hold on. There you go. You are gonna hold. Wait, why'd you leave? What the heck? Why'd you leave? I told you to hold, man. Awesome. So we have eight divisions encircled here. Hopefully they'll be able to hold out. Maybe. Maybe. Yep, they should be able to. Double check Spain. Double check Spain. Still can't smash through these guys. A little unfortunate. Yeah, that's taking way too long, man. Uh, do we have our planes here still? We still have our planes. Even with their support. Ooh, Spain is a funny civil war time. Oh, the nationalists are definitely gaining on the, the Republicans, probably. Mexico's in war. Oh, not enough manpower or garrisons. I don't remember us taking enemy lands yet. <laughs> I'm not sure why that popped up. I mean, maybe here, yeah, I guess this is it, but... Hmm. South Sakhalin? Well, that's nice. We could use civilian oversight. I have been told, though, to use local police force, because 
even though you get less daily compliance, you get less resistance targets compared to this, 10% less. You get 15% less uh, required garrisons than civilian oversight. And damage of garrisons go down by 50%. It's not bad. Mm, even though, uh, you know, I'll just leave it on civilian oversight. Uh, you know, let's, let's explore it. We got time. Do that one. Very good. Hey, we got all those divisions. Nice. Good job, guys. Uh, this seems to be holding-ish a little bit. Not that strongly. Oh, positive heroism. Nice, 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 nice. Let's do progress cult because we want more research speed. So, we should celebrate the innovations of outstanding Soviet scientists and encourage the correct kind of free thinking. The USSR will always be ahead of the de decadent West when it comes to daring new fields of science. Just look at the brilliant work of comrade Lysen Lysenko. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I don't think I can really help the these guys here too. Oh, they left. Passive defense is always nice. Uh, let's not do any more for now. I want to save all my civilian factories just a little bit. Uh, you might have to help hold there. Yeah, I don't think we'll really be able to win here. Even though our tanks are doing a great job. We still... Oh, well, hold on. Oh, the Hamburg disaster. Good. It's May. we got 15 days before I have to pull out of Spain as well as Japan. They'll be done on July 1st, which really sucks. I think collaboration governments have to be finished before you go to war. Which is really bad. Oh, look, that's, that's better. Oh, nice. Awesome. Uh, what do we want? Give me that. So we can build even more, 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 more. Hey, we actually won there. Nice. Just in time for us to leave. Come on. Not bad, not bad. Go ahead and pull out, pull out. Yep, I don't think these guys are going to be able to win here. That's unfortunate. Oh no, we lost that division. Yeah, they're going to pull. That's why trying to get Japan to go communist can be pretty difficult. But, oh, and I made Japan have a generic focus tree. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. And give me one day, and we have to go to war with the Finns now. Cool. So, that sucks. Joseph Stalin retires? I don't think he's in a position to retire right now. These guys aren't guaranteed by anybody. Um, I'm going to have have you guys just kind of have free reign. I don't mind you guys attacking too, but just be careful because our army isn't that strong. Realistically. Before I forget, let's grab some, some of our planes. Come on up north. Have a good time with some of these guys up here. Uh, naval bombers, you can probably stay down there. Fighters, yeah. Come on, come on over here. Do we have any other planes? Because I do need to make more planes. No, I don't. Oh, well. And at least our soldiers are on their way back. Not enough garrisons? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, put you on low, medium. Make sure garrisons are on high. And unfortunately, the J Japanese People's Republic has fallen. Ah, oh, we tried. We tried. Ah, uh, you know what? Instead of going that direction, just come there. Cut him off. And, there, oh, there goes Carlos Spain. Oh, they rebelled as well. I did not realize that. And we still have this. Huh. Thought it would be removed a little quicker than that. So, I wanted the Nationals to win. I thought they would keep the Nationals at bay, but this actually makes it easier for everyone to kill each other off. Oh, this effort for Finland is done as well? Great. Great. Go ahead and reveal it since we're attacking them, and that gives us 15% more breakthrough, which is really, really good. And a defense bonus, too. <clears throat> so we probably need to make sure that we have a collaboration government in Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia before we go to war with them. We want Poland probably have... We need to do their cipher as well, so let's start doing them. We need the German cipher, too, which will be important. Good. I'm going to let you guys just go have free reign. Just, like go wild. You can honestly might be able to just take Helsinki. And you know how we got our soldiers encircled in Japan? Well, they're back. They didn't die. They didn't die. Lord, I'm going to send these guys back to uh, Japan eventually too. Or, not Japan. They're dead. Spain. I think you can get them as a puppet, which is really cool. Losses thus far, 10,000 versus 22,000. Not bad. Even with their 20% attack and defense on core territory. 
That's so not great. Oh, they have divisions from Germany and Italy, of course. And Finland offers concessions. Well, actually, uh, we might be attacking too fast. The war with Finland has been a costly affair, but as we've been able to push the back the Finnish army, they've presented us with a compelling offer. We are giving control of strategically important areas, but we need to withdraw our troops and cease further hostilities. This will not end our this will end our offensive on Finland without full control over the region, but in turn will allow us to focus on extending our sphere of influence in other parts of the world. Eh, whatever. You know, I, I don't really care. Let's look at operations. So this takes until July first. Peace? Nah. You know what? Let's hold them off. Let's reorganize our front line a little bit first. So let's hold them off. You guys are up there. You know what? I'm going to tell you guys to do this. There you go. I want to wait until July 1st so that the collaboration government gets actually done. And even though the Germans sent volunteers this way, it really doesn't matter. Probably. That'll be good. I want you to get all the way up to here so that we can just walk straight in when we need to. Oh, and you get stuck. Good. Awesome. Just take that stuff for now. That'll be good. Oh, it's paused. Go ahead and beat up the rest of the armies that you see around here, perhaps, maybe, if possible. Uh, do that. Help them out, too. That'd be good. That'd be great. And I want to wait until we're done. <clears throat> oh, they're actually attacking us. Oh, I see. Well, the Finns, they think they have it, huh? few Jerry divisions, so be it construction too. Very good. We need more manpower. Oh, we need more armored cars. Oh, that's for, for garrisons. That's right. Makes sense. So, next up. Land auction is... We're not doing it. Takes quite a while to do it. That's why I don't want to do it yet. It's only 1937, which is good. Navy stuff. I did say I want to research carriers. That's going to take a while. So, instead, I'm going to research radar. Fine, we lose a little bit there, whatever. Improved machine tools, great. Dispersed industry. Let's grab some of this because I do want to build some refineries eventually. Uh, artillery, that's a little bit too out of time for me and my tastes. Field hospitals for the Soviets? Sounds great. Sounds really great to me. Let's do it. Alright. Oh, they completely capitulated after the thing was done. Great. <clears throat> and total surrendered to the Soviet Union. Ah. Kalio has responded by stating that even in exile, he shall continue to fight for Finland and support our resistance efforts in his land for the homeland. And our guy died with uh, in Finland. Ah, that would be... Oh, no, he, he didn't die. He's just injured. Okay. So. Can I take all states? Do we get a collaboration government since they capitulated? Compliance is at 30%. Compliance gain is disabled. Now that's interesting. What? Hmm. Collaborations. Well, we have no collaborations. Oh, Amelia Earhart circumnavigates the world. Well, we don't exactly have what we need right now for resistance. And for some reason, uh, I just capitulated the Finns like that quickly. And we don't have any collaboration government because of that. So, you know what? For now, just to make things easy, we're just going to release them as a puppet. Probably. Even though, yeah, we have 30% control. Do I have enough armored cars? I don't really have enough armored cars for this. Go this direction, please. Thank you. Uh... There you go. That should help out. We should have enough for that for a while. You know what? I don't like how it glitched on me since you don't have any collaboration governments. We'll do this a little bit later, so I'm just going to release them as a puppet. Because I don't want to deal with this right now. And you can, I can always annex them later, so. Oh, hold on. Uh, I think we did want that, but you know what? You know what? I don't really care. They can have it. There you go. And hey, they still have their Sisu, which is pretty good. And they're my puppet. Beautiful. I'll integrate them later, or, you know, annex them later. Good. I didn't like, though. I knew that was going to happen. At the time of this recording, I have seen that happen on the Reddit, where if you, like, have a collaboration government and you're at war with them, 
if they don't have enough uh, victory points, they will capitulate. I've seen that happen in France. So, oh, oh, that's National Spain. I'm like, why can't I send you volunteers? Everybody's oh three. Oh no, not th just three guys. Come on, man. Well, I'm sorry, guys. They didn't like most of us. So, you four will come back here. And we only can send three guys to you guys. I could send stuff to Anarchist, but why would I do that? Let's go back to Spain. Alright, very good, very good. We can still send all these guys there if we need to, so we are. Did we lose Madrid? No, not yet. That's good. Oh, the Carlos here, that really threw things off. Which is nice. Progress cult. Awesome. Social science. So the world, like the mind, is in constant motion. Nature is in a state of constant progress. Revolution, even. The principles of dialectic materialism can be applied to the natural sciences as well as the social. Ooh, social sciences. Let's re-engineer people. That sounds like fun. And we have enough garrisons, so... There you go. Make sure that's always high. And fighters are going to be extremely important. Probably even more so than artillery. Let time go on. Let us get a lot more air XP. Look at that air XP. So good. I'm a little surprised, though, because... Actually... Can we take that yet? Oh, we, we can. If we continue going down this path, then we don't have to wait until 1941 to do this. So, I could, after doing extra research slot, I can rush down this path to eventually get another research slot. So that'd be good. Screw everyone else. Screw all the other focuses. They all hate us anyways. Um, we're probably going to come right here. Maybe we can break through the mountains. And I, I know attacking through mountains is terrible. That's why I have mountaineers. Ah. Wait. The Finnish Democratic Republic wants to rule. Recent political turmoil in the Finnish Democratic Republic has left their government with a strong vision for the future that aligns with our own plans. Well, I wonder why. They seek our protection and offer their unconditional support. Officially, they will continue as a nation of their own, but they will follow the motherland in every move. Uh, I mean, yeah, duh, Soviet influence in Europe, come on, man. I literally made sure that you followed me no matter what. Uh, of their own volition, of course, but seriously, like, there's a reason why I had an official declaration of war against you guys. Uh, 60% is pretty good, 60%, 60%, just straight civilian factions because their industry isn't that big. Let's go ahead and do, you know what, machine-assisted decryption, because I want to decrypt stuff faster. I want a bunch of ciphers, eventually, for pretty much every enemy nation. You know what, actually, you know what, don't go that way. We can probably actually do okay right here. Good, good, good. Probably d most definitely helping our guys out here with uh, extra air support, that's always handy. Uh, we need some more da naval dockyards, but, you know, someday. Good. Socialist science. I love it. Yeah. Land auction research speed actually isn't as bad. Minus 8% isn't that terrible. But you know, whatever. Uh, we can boost more research speed, daily communism support for political power. Uh, I want my political power. Go ahead and help out against these anarchists. Oh, look at that lag. Holy cow. Holy cow. Now, with our guys in there, we should be able to win. And then we're going to take you off. And then you're going to just go right down. Even though they have a port, we could probably still kill them. If the Carlos are not. Oh, the Carlos are gone. Oh, wow. That's disgusting. It's a little bulge. Machine assisted decryption. Let's do encryption now. Let's do both. Because we can. Oh. Actually, we have our. Operatives. Harmed. Oh, that's right. It was harmed. You're doing counter intel. I don't really need counter intel right now. God dang, sometimes it gets super laggy. It's still only 1937, too. Let's go ahead and start doing it against... We could do the Germans. Let's do the Poles. Because the Poles, they're a fun group of people. They really are. And I want to make sure I have everything in place. Just in case. For the Poles. And actually, I did make pretty much... Or try to make everyone as fascist as possible. They're democratic. They're going to go down the, uh, revive the national bloc eventually. What is Poland doing? I made them go fascist as well. Well, we don't really know yet. Uh, oh, we have the British Empire. Ah, Mosley. Mosley. Oh, we did see his little, uh, event in the last, or the first episode. 
when he looked really cool. Spain reallocates gold reserves. Shipments from Spain have begun to arrive in our country as the Spanish government is moving their gold reserves abroad for safekeeping for the duration of the war. Perhaps this spells opportunity. Hmm, thank you for the gold, my friend. Thank you. These guys really are tough nuts to crack. Even with plenty of air support. Hey, we got a lot of XP, though. That's really nice. Do that since we have we should have enough for garrisons and our gun deficit's going way down, which is awesome. Fighters are going up. Social science is doing great. Let's get an extra research slot. Our industrial expansion and other recent advances might allow us to conduct more R&D in parallel. Oh, I can't wait to get five research slots. Czechoslovakia surrenders in Sudetenland, which... Didn't that happen in 1937? Austria is still here. That's interesting. Uh, I think I made these guys go fascist as well, didn't I? Oh, holy cow. This focus tree does not look very good. Is this... This is the normal... Death or Dishonor Focus Tree. Oh man, I'm so used to the Road to 56 one when I uh, play vanilla. Yeah, that's... Oh, that hurts me. Ah, terrible. Wait, Civilian Intelligence? I didn't know that. When you have you change your uh, trade law. Oh, Navy Intelligence to others. That's new. Industry. I always love doing industry stuff. This stuff is okay, though. Oh, Fighters Agility. That'll be good to do. Tank stuff, always fun. What about down here? Concealment, armor, capital ships, that's pretty good stuff. Amphibious invasion speed. Let's go ahead and grab... I kind of want the elusive gentleman right now. Let's have a little bit of fun with him. And we get another guy in a few days. Great, machine assisted encryption, great. Let's grab some of this. Uh, and infiltrate the civilian administration. I want to know everything about Poland. Oh, and well, we're instantly trying to come down here as well, which is eh, not, not a bad idea. There's only two divisions. Our guys are veterans. They're very good. Talented new officers. Great. Great. We even have social science for even more manpower because you can never have enough manpower as the Soviet Union. <laughs> uh, we can do scout planes as well, but those are okay, you know. I, we only have three research slots at the moment, so I want to save it. You know what? I might as well start doing some mobile warfare. Since we have the army XP. And it only takes 85 days, 84 days, which is pretty good, even though we did spend 100 army XP. But you know what? We're getting plenty enough. Plenty enough. And at least we have the Finns under us. So, welcome aboard, Finland. I appreciate your booty. And your food. And your people. Hey, you have more manpower than you had before, which is good. They have plenty of fuel for now. They have no divisions, which is okay in 1937. But I do want to end the episode with us encircling these soldiers, if we can. Or killing them off. Either one. Which, whichever one goes first. Decryption? Get even more decryption. We are spy master. And two days. We're doing... Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm going to leave them here for defense. Oh, rescue, infiltrate. Uh, you guys are same boost. Nothing. With his new spy person. And this person. Counterintelligence. Yes. I immediately want counterintelligence. Even though this would be good for Germany, I need counterintelligence right now. And instead, if you. You're going to help me do more in. When we take out enemy governments. Which would be good to do. I kind of do. I just want to, like, max out Poland as fast as possible. But let's do. Is this Latvia? I think it's Latvia, yeah. Just because I want collaboration governments for them too, eventually. That'd be good. Cool. Alrighty tighty. 90% of the way there. Even though I should really take the port before killing that division off. Whatever. Oh, Vasily, you're level 4. You got a lot of attack. He's He could become a field marshal too. Actually, I might. I will probably make him field marshal. We need another general once this war this battle's over, though. That's actually really good. Come on, come on. Plane situation. We're doing more damage. We got field hospitals for some reason because why not? Oh, it's two, three, seven. What do we want to research? Uh, I can just completely ignore the navy for quite a while. Fuel could be good. What about resource extraction? Could be good. I feel. Like, there's so much we could do. So much. 
Cut Yusha? I would love to get that stuff. You know what? Go with that. Let's go with that. Why not? Awesome. Now, I'm gonna make... Promote him immediately. Oh, well, hold on. Let's... Here. So he's a really good guy who needs to be promoted. Where is he? There you are. There you go. Now he can become a logistics wizard, which I think is great. And an aggressive assaulter, because he's got, well, level 5, but it'll be level 6 soon enough. Let's get a new general. Nikolai. Okay, we'll do that. We're going to take this guy out, too. Let's do this. That'll be good. Spanish gold reserves. It has been some time since the Soviet gold reserves arrived in, r arrived in our country, and we've continued to send ample aid to the Soviet Union. Wait, we sent them to the Soviet Union without payment. Members of the government are beginning to comment on the farcical state of affairs. Seize them? A Spanish victory would be payment enough. Uh, You know what? Who cares? Let's do that. So, that's pretty much going to be the end of today. So, what did we do? We went to war with the Finns. We made sure that they were puppet governments so we don't have to garrison their territory. We are now analyzing and in getting intel off Poland so that we can set up collaboration governments eventually on them. And we're still helping out in Spain with the Republican side for now. And we kind of failed in Japan, and now they have a generic focus tree. Oh well. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow when the Spanish Civil War will hopefully be finished up, and we can have lots of fun with Poland. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.